Good morning. So let's see what we're up to today. Pretty sure I left a to do in my code. Okay, so snippet pick C next. Um, we need to move option struct init here and check args for search and paste. Okay, so what we're doing is um, in this uh, the GUI version of the new snippet pixie. Uh, we want two modes. We want the main settings page, uh, sorry, the main snippet management window, um, and then an alternate version where you can just select a snippet and it goes away um, and pastes in the background um, to actually apply your snippet to your document or whatever. So we're kind of halfway there. At the moment, um, we've got, let's, uh, let's get up the, uh, the dev version so that we can see what's going on. So by default, we're in this uh, snippet management mode, um, which isn't quite le quite finished yet, um, but the basics are there. Um, so I can go into the list um, and I can go right, but we will eventually have an icon in there. Um, if I go right, I can edit um, and then I can hit cancel. I need to put an escape on that actually. And then obviously I can add as well. But I'm not going to do that just now. Uh, what we want though is to switch into the select mode if you pass in the correct params, which I don't think I can do in dev mode. I can't, don't think I can test that there. Um, so we will have to quit out eventually. But uh, at the end of my last session, I left these to do's. Um, so what I want to do. Um, is potentially bring up the window um, and do two things. We have yeah, so there's one obvious thing is in the new app here, it just returns an empty abstract. Um, and that has now a search and paste Boolean property. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna set that to true so that later on when the window itself says, hey, what mode am I in? And it says, you know, are we in search and paste? We can just return the value and it'll be either true or false. So we can just say, yep, you're in search and paste mode. So it'll be fairly simple uh, once we've got the params being passed to just set that to true, he says. Except for it's private there. So we probably will want to open that up and make it writable because we don't really need an accessor for that. We don't need like a set function. Yeah. So we'll come back to that. But um, first of all, the other thing we want to do is have a different mode for the window as well. I think I want it to have no sort of Chrome, which you can't really see here. Um, so this might be something I have to do in a VM where I'm running a more standard desktop environment, um, which I haven't got up and running yet. So that's maybe something for another day. Uh, but my theory was um, potentially having different um, width and height defaults and at some point we'll have to set save them uh, but also a different mode um, for the window you can set it as to be borderless and stuff 
Hmm. Maybe we don't need to go that far today. We'll see. Yeah, okay. So, all right, let's actually do that. Let's move this to be a public property. Huh, okay. All right, so let's first of all, we'll do that. And then here we'll rename this to something then. Um, Actually, let's make this search and paste mode. I could do either one. I could do the struct property or I could do the app method. Search and paste mode, if search and paste mode, if search and paste. Maybe the function would be better off being called that. So yes, on that one. But no, on that one. No, oh, we'll just do it and then um, reset that. I wonder why I did that. Right, so we'll do that and then. Yeah, you're not going to be happy, are you? Because we need to do the JavaScript, which should be in. Am I doing it in here? Import search paste mode mode. Okay. There we go. Hopefully that sorted itself out there. Right then, um, so in theory that's working again, we'll see, uh, I need to go back to, I need to just make sure that's okay, yeah, and then in the GUI main, 
we need to actually pass the args now. So we kind of need to do the same as we've done in the CLI. And um, we need to pull in this kind of config kind of setup. Um, but not all of it. In fact, we can do a bunch of this hanging off the app because that's where we're going to apply it. Hmm. Okay, what well, we'll do. Just thinking, it'd be nice to be able to test the args and make sure make sure the right thing happens. So we haven't got the same kind of setup in Snippet Pixie GUI. Everything here is directly in main. Though it does pass that there and to run. Could do it on startup. Don't necessarily need to do it right in main. The 
anything being there that I probably can't. It might get a bit of, it might get a bit of a flash if I try and switch window mode if I decide to do that. So I probably should do it before. Okay, I think I'm going to take a copy of that config. Stick it in snippet pixie GUI. And then, in fact, I'm going to close you off now because you're going to get quite jumpy. So, uh, what we're going to do is we're not going to do quite the same here. I think. Just passing app. a map and do we need to pass in a writer don't think we do but it's not about that at all which means I don't need the app name stuff. And we're not doing this kind of thing either, where we're looking for Command. It's just a flag we're going to do. So let's take out well, pretty much all of this stuff, really. just going to have a default set. Ah, oh, could, no, actually we do need the uh, app name as a, as an easy uh, usage thing. Okay, let's do this then. So what we'll do, Hmm. Okay. All right. I'm actually changing my mind about the right as well because for testing, 
That is useful. Okay. We are going to, right, first of all, don't need from here, don't need that, don't need that, that, all that, don't need any of that. Uh, usage might be handy. So, go down to here. Hello. And I lost my uh, marker there. Mark B. Complete Mark B. Thank you very much. Right. I might not even need that because it might be just this that I need. Uh, okay, right, let's sort this out then. So, um, yeah, let's just do the basics. We'll do this. Take all that out. We just need a bool. We'll just rename that to um, search and paste. And what do I need as my Actually, I think I've probably got show snippet pixels, quick search and paste window. That'll do. Search and paste. Yeah. 
if I do a P version, I could also give it an S as well. Let's do that. Okay. I suppose I should do help as well. Oops. Did I have... Um... There we go. There's no others, isn't there? Version. Oh, that might be useful. I haven't got that yet. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. I'll do that. That might be handy. Um, okay, so if we have any errors. Oops. Pass flag doing well. No, which should not include the command name. Yep. Must be called after all flags and the flags that are defined and before flags are accessed by the program. The return value will be uh, help. Never help was set, but not defined. Okay. So in here, what we're going to do is if we've got the help flag, we call usage. If we got version flag, hmm. Have to think about that in a minute. Don't know how we're going to do that. I guess we can steal some of that from the CLI although I've got a feeling Wales might have a way of uh, setting that in the config and then passing it but I'll have a look in a minute um, okay so we have don't need any of that stuff Yeah, I think I don't need all this. I think all I need is the flag usages. So 
Let's see. I'm going to take a look. I can always copy it back from um, the CLI, but I think. Okay. Don't think I even need any of that. Let's get shot. What we're going to do is Here, what we're going to do is we're going to go look at the docs for that because I have a feeling that I can do away with a whole load of stuff here. I want flag usages. Okay. Where's Where's the ear help?
Okay. That's probably not what I'll need then. Right. Okay. In that case. We will do the simple. Okay, we will basically not do that and we will go usage. And we've got one flag at a time. Okay, we don't need options because we don't have any. So, do that. However, I have to make sure we don't. Call this otherwise. Um, I will not need hmm. Don't need that. What I do need is if there's a problem, we return the error. If the help flag is done, we just print that. Version flag. to be determined. I 
Okay. Uh, and then that should be renamed. Search and paste usage. Help. Okay. So help is the most, is the first one to be set then potentially version and then we've got search and paste and if we have search and paste which should actually be called search and paste flag Um, then all we really need to do is a search and paste equals true. And then we're done. Just set it right there. Um, and then it will just return nil. And what was the Yeah, it's just that, okay. Because we only care about passing the args if we have any. Why is it okay just to run it, which is the default? Think. Okay. So we haven't got version set yet, but we'll sort that out in a minute. But we do have that, which is an IO writer. That's been passed in okay. Standard area is used if we've got a problem. Otherwise, it goes to standard out, in theory, if, I'm not sure how we would ever get to this default here. Uh, Don't know. Okay. Um, so that should be okay. In theory, we can do search and paste. And then in the main, Okay, we probably need to rename this. Don't we call that in it? 
Um, Well, I suppose I can. I don't think it harms anything to do that. So... We're going to have... Potentially an error from Bennett, and we're going to pass in. Let's just make this from main. Yeah, just need all that. Oops. And then we need to just adjust that because we're passing that in here. And it's just our standard out. Just take that. Actually, what was the other version then? Oh. Okay. Let's just do that. So if it all goes horribly wrong, effectively doing that. So, we create a new app. We then pass it in, we basically pass the potential flags that we've got to the app to update the app's internal config. Um, if there's any problems, we throw them out to standard error and exit. Otherwise, we carry on bliss okay here we already have error now okay I think that's okay for the moment we can just test that in a sec Let's give it a go. Um, I'll do it over here. So uh, let's make
Okay. So if I run it without any arguments, we're in normal mode here, and I can go in and I can edit stuff and all that kind of thing. Maybe add, yada, yada, yada. Okay. And then if I pass search and paste, we're in a different mode. Cool. So in here, I can't go right. I can still do add there, but I might take that out. We'll see. Um, but what's important is I have Things like if I hit return on this, or number six, it exits and in theory paste, but oh, I didn't do it. I did do it, look, I tried to. If I do that again, and I hold shift at the time, there you go. Always developing and then today's date. So that's working. Uh, but oh, I should test out some other bits of Bob's hey? Um So if I just do minus S, same thing. Cool. If I do H, ah, yes, I should exit there. That's wrong. But that's correct. Display this help message, display version number, which we haven't got yet. I could make that a minus V as well, because we have no reason not to. So, yeah, we can just do an OSX actually, can't we? Version. Give it a V. And then if there's an error pass in it, then we return the error, let the error get printed out after the usage message, and then exit one. If we are in help flag mode, we're done. So OS exit zero. Thank you very much. We're done. Version. Uh, don't know how to do that yet, but it will end like that. Uh, search and paste is good, so we just want to return nil. And if something else happens, I don't know how, then we would do that. And hmm. I will just do like return. There is new recognized flag. Although, don't 
don't know what that would be. Okay. Um, yeah, that's all untranslated, which is a bit of a pain, but uh, we'll maybe sort that out some other time. Okay, let's give it a go. So we want to make, should have just typed it. Now, what was it that I had a problem with? Oh, help, wasn't it? Yeah, there we go. So that's help. It shows the version now. But to um, dash dash help should be the same. If I do V nothing and same for dash dash version. Okay. Um, yeah, so that's everything there. Search and paste mode. They go too quick. There we go. Okay. All right. Just need to do the version stuff. Sure, whether it's got anything. Uh, on time. So there is a product version I can use, but I don't think I can use this. I think that is for the builder. Yeah. And this is what I might do. for search and paste window.
Okay. I have to remember that. All right, so I don't think... Let's have a quick look. Is there a way to grab the version? No. Okay, let's um, steal that from the CLI then. However I did it, I can't remember how. Right, I'm hard coding it. Hmm. I guess I'll have to do for the moment. So I kind of actually just want that. It's going to be the same version to start with, although probably two by the time we get to it. Okay. So I kind of want that to be in here. And let's see whether I can use that anywhere. Okay. Done. Sorted. Quick and dirty, but it'll do the job for the moment. Okay. So we have passing of args sorted. Um, no tests though. which is a bit bad. This would be the first set of tests actually for Snippy Pixie Goody, I think. All right, so there's a lot here need um, but we will give it a go so uh, help that's fine won't be needing that that can go. Um, or I can change these things up. So 
Let's do search and paste. Oops. Do that. And then otherwise, it's just expected out. So we'll do this. So we've got the args. And false for search and paste. And then usage, snippet pixie. GUI flags same again H and then Go down here, version, did we print out? Okay, so do some variations on this then. We're going to have short form. That's okay. And then let's do this where we have help. version we still expect so if we have doesn't matter what order help wins then we get version version and if we do Search and paste, we still expect version. We'll search and paste there. Still expect help. Okay. Take it away 
these things, I think. Yeah, no, that's not good. Okay. Right, if we have search and paste, we expect this to be true uh, and no output. Same again. S. Um, and then we allow no arguments. Which means false and it just does whatever. So in here I'm going to work it out. So, for spec in range, blah, blah, blah. We have that as A now. And that is an app. We are passing the arcs in as such. Oh. Need to fix this up. Okay. So we hope in this scenario we're doing parsing, okay. So we're not expecting any errors for this run. So no error should be a, a nil. Sorry. Anything but an error coming back. Uh, standard out depends on what we pass in. So if we expected some output. We check it, otherwise we make sure it's blank. And then the only other thing we need to do is check search and paste. So and then we don't have any expected arcs. Okay, and then for the failure testing, uh, okay, that's a lot clicking, let's not do that. If we uh, 
yeah, I don't know what that's going to do, but it should basically go bang. That's okay. So I'm taking that out. Um, don't really need to test all this stuff here. I don't have sub commands. Yeah, it's going to be a lot shorter. Yeah, that's all we need to test really. Just make sure there's... Failures in these conditions. Do that. Okay. So it comes down, sets up some readers. We want to change that to. So it's an app now. Call cool. init. Stop. Close off this standard writer. And then read standard error. Reset it back to normal standard error. Grab the captured standard error. Make sure we got an error back. Make sure standard out didn't have any output. Make sure the length of standard error is greater than zero. And then make sure that the standard error included usage and something. Okay. So in theory, we have config test. On snippet pixie GUI now. So I can do make test. Ooh. Okay. Ah. That's a problem. So I'm exiting. Yeah, that's not a good move. So in in it, I am exiting out when I shouldn't really. So we're going to do a different thing here then. I'm going to return a bool and an error. And we're going to say true here for good continue 
And then here, we got to do the same. Oops. Ooh. And an error. I think, yeah, no, that's good. So, yeah. I could name it to make it obvious. It's not going to like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can't call it that because that was reserved. Um, I don't suppose I can do cancel either, can I? Yeah, okay. Hmm, likes that. That's fine then. Even though I'm not using them. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll switch it around then. And uh, do that. Actually, can I? Is I presume X is this reserved word? It's not. Hmm. Kind of is. Okay. We'll leave that cancel for the moment. Yeah, no, we'll leave it like that. So we come down here. We're going to return true and an error. for help we return true and nil same for version flag Same for unrecognized thing. And then in here, if we haven't passed any arcs, that break, that stop access, we're going to return false. We do not want to cancel.
And now I've got something else I need to add to all the tests. So before I do that, let's actually use it. So we have cancel and potential and error. Done. And then in the config test, we have to do the same. In fact, Oh, that's from one anyway. And so cancel mostly true. And then true, 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 false. No, true. Uh, here, cancel is false, and cancel is false here, and cancel is false here. Okay, and then we'll have to do. Oh, yeah, it doesn't matter there.
is true. Cancel. Expect. Did I stay up there? And now we're handling the cancel and test as well in the main. And in config. Just a quick make test. Oh, not true. String contains out. Expected to contain. Expected out to contain string. Hmm. So which one was that then? So something is failing this test here. We expected out to contain a string, but it did not. Tell me what the string is, though. Ah, oh. flag, 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 flag. It's interesting that it didn't show me what the uh, failed expected was there, though. Okay, pass. Yay. Is it always build? No, good. Right, so quick test then. And then I have to finish up. Minus S. Yay. Does the right thing. B. It's good. What's the output? And that and zero, which is good. If I do W, gives me that unknown shorthand flag W with a result of one. If I do 
ripple, unknown flag ripple, same result. Um, and if I just do snip, oh, I'm doing full path here. If I don't pass any arguments, get the standard version, which is fine. Okay. Cool. Okay. Uh, we're getting there then. I probably need to finish up just now. Uh, I don't have a meeting, but I do need to get on my day. So, what have we got? Bunch of stuff. Okay. We can switch. The search and paste mode. Just on that. Let's make that a question mark because I'm not sure whether I'm going to do it or not. We'll see. I think I might. Just so that I can switch to a different window. But anyway. Uh, okay, and let's commit that, because that's all very useful stuff. So if we, uh, in this change that we have, it will... Add search and paste version and help legs to snip it. See, GUI. Okay, sorted. Right, uh, that's enough for today. Um, next time, I need to round out that search and paste functionality. Um, and, and then probably start looking at making the main settings uh, management page work a little bit better. Um, like have some sort of indicator that you can edit um a snippet and all that kind of stuff so yeah bits and bobs to do yeah so uh thanks for watching um until next time take care bye